So let's head out from here and then we'll go into our forum controller and we'll go ahead and create our um, create action. So I'll scroll down and just above our private methods here, we go ahead and stop the server and now I can create our public I action result create. This is going to be an ultra simple action result here um, because we're just going to have a model is a new add forum model that we can create and then we're going to return a view and pass it this model. So let's go into our models and then in forum we're going to go ahead and right click and add a new class for add forum model and we'll go ahead and just add a few properties here. We don't need much to actually create a forum. Forum will need a title and a description. and an image URL. And then we can also create a public iForm file image upload field. All right, cool. So then in our forum controller, this is all there is to the create method for creating a new forum. We just simply create an empty model and pass it down to the view. And now let's go ahead and just simply write our HTTP post method that will come from this form. So as before, we'll make it a public async task, type action result, so we can do a redirect, and we'll call it add forum perhaps, and we'll just go ahead and pass it this add forum model. Okay, and so let's say that we wanna actually have a default image um, that we can actually store in our static files for a forum um, that doesn't have like a custom image uploaded to it. Um, first I'll bring in this um, threading. And so the way that I want to do that is we'll have an image URI string, just an empty string. And then what we'll say is if model.imageUpload is not equal to null, in other words, if an image was posted from this add forum form that we need to create. Then we'll create a block blob. And what we'll say here is just like upload form image. And we'll pass it the model image upload, which is that iform file property. And we'll create a private method for this, which we'll fill out in just a second here. Um, so if the image upload is not null, then we're gonna go ahead and upload it to our Azure storage instance. Otherwise, we're going to set this image URI to um, images slash users slash default dot ping. And we can actually just go ahead and refactor this immediately. Um, what we'll do is we'll set our image URI to this, and then we can get rid of our else block. So the image URI will be this default dot ping by default. Otherwise, if we upload an image, we will upload it to Azure and then we'll set our image URI to the block blob .uri absolute. Okay, and for that to work, of course, you know, this isn't just an object. This is, of course, our cloud block blob. So this is very similar to our profile image upload. And we can control period here to make sure we bring in that Windows Azure storage.blob. And so if you recall back in the profile controller, we had this upload profile image method. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse the contents of this method here. Another good reason why this logic should probably be in the upload service and we could refactor it out there later if we like. So we'll head over into forum controller and we'll just reuse this code for now. And we can get rid of some of the comments.
And just as we had to do in the profile controller, let's go ahead and inject the upload service and the configuration here as well. And then just simply inject them into our constructor here. Okay, cool. So now if we head back down here, we need to bring in our HTTP headers namespace. And then I'm just going to rename this file. And so it's, we're going to do essentially everything that we did in the profile controller to upload a profile image in order to instead upload a forum image here. And so one thing that's a little bit different about this as opposed to the profile image uploads is that here we just want to get a reference to the block blob if the image upload from the form is not null and then continue to redirect inside of this add forum post method actually creating an instance of a forum and within that method we're going to set the forum's image if it ex if um, if we've uploaded one to the forum and so rather than return a redirect to action in this method or set um, the profile image on our entity model, we're just going to actually return the block blob instance itself. So we can do that just as well. So we'll still use it to upload from stream asynchronously and then return the instance of this block blob so that we can use it to grab the absolute URI from the upload. Okay, so we have taken care of that. Now let's take care of actually generating the forum object. So we'll save our forum is equal to a new forum. And the title will be the model that title description created and the image URL. And now we can use our forum service to create this forum. And then we can return redirect, redirect to action index forum. And when we do this, we should see the new forum in the list of forums. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create the corresponding view. 